Highly anticipated inter-Korean talks scheduled for today have been called off by Pyongyang at the last minute as the two sides were unable to narrow differences over things like the rank of the representatives to be sent. 오늘 서울에서 열릴 예정이었던 남북 당국 회담이 남북 수석 대표급의 이견 차를 좁히지 못하고 결국 무산됐습니다. An own goal by Uzbekistan in a rainy game in Seoul last night turned out to be the decider as the Korean national football team clung to the narrow lead to take a significant step closer to an appearance in next year's World Cup in Brazil. 월드컵 최종 예선에서 우즈베키스탄을 1대 0으로 이긴 한국 축구 대, 국가대표팀이 A조 1위를 유지하며 브라질 월드컵 본선에 한발 다가섰습니다. Prosecutors have decided to indict Won Se-hoon, the former chief of the National Intelligence Service, without detention based on allegations that he meddled in the presidential election last year. 국정원의 대선 개입 의혹 사건을 조사 중인 검찰이 원세훈 전 국정원장을 선거법 위반 혐의로 불구속 기소했습니다. China has successfully launched its fifth crewed space mission with three astronauts heading up to dock with the nation's Chang'an 1 space lab that's been in orbit since 2011. 중국이 세 명의 우주인을 태운 유인 우주선 선저 슈퍼 발사에 성공한 가운데 탱궁 1호와의 도킹 실험 등을 수행할 예정입니다. According to the Ministry of Education and the Korea Institute for Curriculum and Evaluation, there were widespread technical errors in level 2 and 3 of the National English Ability Test for high school students held on June 2nd. 교육부와 한국교육과정평가원에 따르면 지난 2일 치러진 국가영어능력평가시험 고교생용 2급, 3급 시험에서 무더기 전산 오류가 발생한 것으로 알려졌습니다. The number of high school graduates choosing to study abroad has been dropping in recent years. The Korea Ministry of Education found that the overseas university admission rate declined by 0.1% among the senior students across the country. Education experts attribute the low number of students studying overseas to the continuing economic slump coupled with the weak real estate market. And parents unequivocally agree that it has become increasingly arduous to pay for overseas study expenses under the current economic conditions. According to a recent data, Korea was the country with the highest number of annual credit card transactions per capita in the world in 2011. This number was up 12.8% from a year earlier, which put Korea on top of the list among the 16 major members of the Bank for International Settlements surveyed. Since the foreign exchange crisis, the sudden upsurge of credit card use here was boosted by government campaigns promoting purchases with plastic in the effort to shore up domestic consumption.